So in the last video we have seen how to draw this pattern, right? And as I promised, we'll, we'll be doing this code or this pattern in this, in this example. But before that, let me rearrange the value of i and j. The thing is, this, this type of loop will work, but you know i comes before j, so it sounds much better to have i as the outer loop and j as the inner loop, right? So it's a habit of all the programmers to have uh, i outside and j inside, but that doesn't matter actually. You can have anything inside, anything outside, but it look good. So if you have, so let's make it in that way. So when you talk about outer loop, we define it with I. When you say inner loop, it defi we define it with J. Either way, both will work, but you know, it looks better. Now what we'll do is, uh, again, if you run this, we'll be getting the same output. Uh, now, if you focus on this box, so let's imagine this is one. I mean the number for this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and we also will also give number here so which is 1, 2 and 3, 3 and 4. So imagine the, the value of i as a row counter so it is counting, counting the number of rows and imagine j as the column counter so this is your column counters because in each row your column will go from 1 to 4 second row the column will go from 1 to 4 third row column will go from 1 to 4 fourth row column will go from 1 to 4 simple now I want to print star whenever you have a value which is whenever you have a row number which is 1 I want to print star whenever you have a row value which is 4 I want to print star whenever you have a row value whenever you have a column value as 1 I want to print star whenever you have a column value as 4. That means whenever you want to print, so before printing we need to check. Now whenever you say you want to check something, we'll, you will be using if, right? So if my i value is equal to 1 or if my i value is equal to equal to, oh, where is the equal sign? Equal to equal to 4 or my j value is equal to equal to 1 or my j value is equal to equal to 4. That means if i is 1 or i is 4, j is 1, I mean this one, and j is 4, in any of the case you want to print star. Simple. If you run this, uh, you got approximately something. The problem is, uh, I am I'm printing star whenever you, have, whenever you satisfy this condition. But what if it doesn't satisfy the condition? I want to print something, right? I want to print this space here. So in the else part, what was that? I don't know. In the else part, we'll, we'll print just a space, okay? And if you run this now, you got a box there. So got the idea? So you want to print this only if your i value is 1, i value is 4, j value is 1 and j value is 4 otherwise you need to print spaces. So that's how you create this type of pattern. Uh, we'll, we'll be going for some more patterns. So if you if you have more interest in patterns you can just click on click on the link below which will take you to the patterns playlist. I don't want to include all the pattern example in the programming tutorials. So that, that's it. Thanks for watching and in the next video we'll talk about something more of the C programming. So, thank you.